Hi guys, welcome back. So in the previous one, we looked at how server.js can be used to send any kind of response we want. Uh, there was one issue though, uh, a user pointed out that if I want um, to use the relative URL instead of the you know complete URL, I can use the fetch provided from uh, SwellKit. So I was thinking like, you know, why uh, maybe that isn't necessary, but this fetch actually enhances the fetch, uh, the native fetch. So that way uh, I can use relative URL. So let me try that. So uh, right now, uh, I mean, let's say I don't use the fetch and and use relative URL. I used to get an error here. This failed to parse URL. So if I use this fetch, I think that should uh, go away. Yeah, so it is working. Uh, no, no errors. So yes, so import fetch, and then uh, you know you can use relative URLs. And uh, in the previous one, I think I did uh, the text response sitemap. Uh, I was wondering whether we can do uh, our own like you know website response, like a HTML response. So let's try that. So let me create a folder here and I'll call this website. Uh, dot, I don't know. So just website is enough. Maybe HTML uh, extension is not required. I'll just copy this uh, XML server file, maybe the file itself, and paste it here. Now, here in the markup, I'll change this XML to HTML. Uh, I will wrap this around the uh, body tag. So only things inside body will be shown, I think. I mean, even if you put something in head tag, uh, it will show up. But And headers, content type, uh, this should be, I think it's a uh, text HTML. And uh, looks good. So let me try that route. I go to website yeah so we have it so if i view the source here so it's it's just what we you know have in the mark i don't know why you would use this but uh if you want a html response for something yeah you you can you can have it as well so yeah that's it for this one guys so thank you bye bye